Well, hello, and welcome to Jim's Kitch Kitchen. Today is a very special day. I am celebrating another channel. Her name is Jerry Ellen from the channel Cooking with Neighbors. You know what? Today is our friend anniversary. We became friends. So I want to celebrate her by cooking something she's made. She made something called beer meatballs. Oh, Jerry Allen, she's the best. Hi, neighbors. Hello, neighbors. It is I, Jerry Allen. Hi, neighbors. Welcome back to another Hi, neighbors. Episode. It is I, Jerry Allen. Hi, neighbors. It is I, Jerry Allen. Hello. Hi, neighbors. How are you all doing today? Hi, neighbors. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Neighbors. In Jerry Ellen's video, she used a crock pot. I'm just using a pot on the oven. I'm going to add half of an onion into that pot and let it soften up. Next, you need V8 juice, three-fourths of a cup. I made a video a while back all about V8 juice. You'll have to check it out. Put three-fourths of a cup in that pot. Next, you need a can of beer, a whole can any type of beer. I just checked my fridge and I saw I had this one that I've had for a while. It's a hard word to say. Abominable. Winter Ale from Hopworks. That's in my local area. All right, put that right inside. Next comes ketchup. You need up to three cups based on how many meatballs you're using. Squirt it on in there. A teaspoon of Worcestershire, teaspoon of lemon juice, a little hot sauce, squirt in some horseradish, a little pepper, dash of salt. So Jerry Ellen, she made her own beautiful meatballs. Well, I bought the frozen kind turkey meatballs. I've cooked them a little bit and now I'm just going to drop them in that sauce. Let it simmer for 20 minutes and soak up all those juices. Juicy balls! The sauce has thickened up so nicely. Okay, I'm just going to serve it on some toast. That'll be nice. Beer meatballs, here they are. They look fabulous. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it has a wonderful spice and a wonderful flavor. Mmm. It is absolutely terrific. I don't taste the beer too much, but it certainly makes it special, I'm sure. Next time I may try with a stout. That's my favorite. Well, thank you, Jerry Ellen, for such a great recipe. You know I adore you, and I love being your neighbor. And you know what, folks? If you haven't checked her out, make sure you see her link in my description. She's the best! Have a wonderful day, and thanks for visiting me. Take care, neighbors! What do you call 100 sheep rolling down a hill? A lamb slide. <laughs>